So what is up going on guys, this is KP and I'm back with another episode on the Visual Studios as we did earlier. We just set some functions onto the buttons earlier. Now it's time to complete our three most useful functions. So basically I'm gonna go in with first thing is for the screenshot. And for the screenshot, you know what we basically do uh, earlier is if then else. And we used to execute some shell command. For this time, we will be using a save file dialog. So we're gonna import it. Then, then save file dialog dot. And let's sh show this. Okay. So now we have our save file dialog run. So I'm gonna importing these things. So DMP is a new process. DMP is a new process. File name should be this, and argument should be. Part, it should be SD card and we will use to pull it to a save part before that we will be setting some team so basically I told you before what this whole currency represents and here temp Done. and here it should be false the one to process process has exited loop so it's like process adb shell screen cap let me screen captures p to this part and then we will pull it by using adb of the same file to our temp part that is we have browsed by using the save file dialog now let's go for for the sideload function we have used i have written these two statements and then these two statements to go to the sideload same thing as we did before else so first thing we will be browsing zip file so for that we will be using open file dialog now we will be showing it and then this process so the mp is a process adb sideload pass on the pass on will be variable we'll be using here okay so this was the sideload function but it's actually basically not correct we need our phone to be detected in the sideload function so we should give some message box before it so message box your phone okay so this was the sideload function now let's go ahead and let's um do for the screen record now basically i want to tell you something that the lockout function that we have designed in our tool is not perfectly working so yeah this is because the board needs some shell executes and in the direct process we can't use some shell executions so we will be creating a batch file onto the path where my adb toolkit is saved so we will creating a new batch file dot bat we will be editing with the notepad plus plus at duet echo of so if you guys don't know how to program a batch file i have lived a link in the description then we will be typing here color dot color away So this was our basic lockhead functions okay when uh, this was the basic command and here it will show that make sure your phone is connected to the pc usb debugging mode is on adb drives are perfectly installed and here is some note that will all logs it will save will uh, all logs will be saved in the backups folder and press enter when you are done and it will execute this kind of function now for the lockhead we will be removing removing this Now the same for the screen record okay we will be creating another batch file
so this is our screen recording function it's been done perfectly so with this we have completed our tool in these ways now it's time for these functions and this will be done by me later on okay so this in this only I need to set some web page and and some source to create the open source I'll be going to file and the export template and all source will be uploaded to the github okay now this is time when we have to test our tools so basically I have one device to test some functions but for the side load things we'll be needing my this phone so I'll be stopping recording soon then run this okay so you have seen that it's turned to green it means that my device has been perfectly recognized by our tool okay show device okay so device has been shown you can see a list of the devices 0123 device so it's my device id okay we'll be going through push files this so it did something wait a minute same thing below now let's start it okay so file has been pushed really uh, let me pull it again So with this we have successfully created our ADB toolkit and now it's time to set up this about fun functions that uh, I'll be doing later uh, by my own and will be soon publish it uh, and make it as an open source as you can see it's here an open source project so thank you guys for, for watching my video if you like my video share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts regarding any this programming stuff or about me you can just comment me below and i will soon answer them so this is it thank you for watching and peace out